will only see this video on Denver 7 tonight. Police are looking for these two suspects who hit a family dollar store in Lakewood. You can see them clean out the cash drawers quickly. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is live at that store, and Jen, police believe this isn't the first store they robbed. Eric, police believe that they've robbed more than a dozen stores all over the metro area. They hit this Lakewood family dollar. They've also targeted gas stations and an auto parts store. And it's how often they're robbing these stores that has police so concerned. These are the kinds of people who are dangerous, desperate, they're armed. And those are bad combinations for everybody. Armed with handguns and wearing black hoodies and bandanas, police say these crooks show up around closing time looking for cash. They just burst into the store, take over, and take the money. They hit this Lakewood family dollar earlier this month. You can see the first guy walk in, pointing his gun at the two employees inside. Seconds later, the second suspect walks in with a crowbar. They make their way to the cash register. The first guy grabs all the cash and puts it in his pocket, while the other suspect searches for more. He he then clears out the second register and the safe before they both take off. The entire robbery took less than three minutes. It's a small business. They can get in and out quickly. Since October, police believe they're responsible for at least 16 robberies, including several other family dollar stores in Aurora, Denver, and Commerce City. It's quite frequent that they're pulling these robberies. These guys are so brazen. Family Dollar is even offering a cash reward and has put up these signs. Police want these guys caught before they turn violent. As soon as these suspects meet any kind of resistance from somebody, it's, it's probably safe to say someone's going to get hurt or killed. Police believe there are six to eight suspects taking turns pulling these robberies off. They also think that they could be financing something because they're going through the cash so quickly. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Reporting live in Lakewood tonight, Jennifer Kowaleski, Denver 7.